What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the 303 RKDS by Catalina. Uh, it is a beautiful RV. It is a legacy edition so this is their top of the line. Sorry if you can't see the upper part of my face. The sun is literally beaming right down and we haven't had a lot of sun so I'm kind of enjoying it a little bit right now. Um, but this RV is 30 feet of living space so it's got quite a bit. However, I believe it sleeps about six people, so you can easily make it just an RV for two, or you can make it for you and the kids, or however you want to look at it. You can bring some friends. But let's go ahead and jump into this. But before we do, I want to say thank you for everybody that's been subscribing, watching my videos. If you're watching my videos and you're enjoying them, please hit the like button, and it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and bell notification, because the fact that y'all are still coming back and watching me means the world to me. So I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and y'all are helping me get to that thousand subscriber mark really fast and 4,000 hours worth of watch time to be monetized so i just want to say thank you so much so let's go ahead and jump into this all right so this is the catalina legacy edition by coachman uh you have a power tongue jack it says 3500 pound capacity you can also light it up so if you need to hook up in the dark or something like that you can definitely do that it gets very bright it's just in the middle of the, it's early early in the day so you do have two large propane tanks and right behind that you have a place to hook up uh, your batteries you do have a rock chip guard and then above that you do have the catalina logo on the back background and the white and blue v which is apparently a thing for 2023 so this is kind of the design that they're going with all right, let's go ahead and go around to the passenger side. Now, you have jacks on all four corners. Again, I always talk about just use a drill. I can link it down in the description. Uh, I did one for my last video. And if you want to check that out, it's just super easy if you use a drill. It's no different than basically pushing a button more than anything. And the drill that I personally use is a $30 Black & Decker drill that I got off of Amazon. So super, super simple stuff. Uh, we'll go with the awning first. So you have this power awning and then you can see underneath it, you can see the lighting. It's red right now, but it's full RGB, which is a red, green, blue. And that means that those three colors can mix and you can literally get basically any color under the sun. So that's really cool. And then of course this goes pretty much all the way to the back. It does cover up your uh, entry door now i don't have it all the way out because i worry about the wind right here off the highway but to me this seems like a safe length if you're just trying to you know during just a regular day and you just want to put it out for a little bit and just cover up the front door this would be perfect you also have huge huge windows on this rv so lots and lots of windows so that's super convenient we have our front compartment now this is a pretty unique uh, dare I say, uh, interesting design. So you have your power cable. It is not a pass-through in the essence of, you know, going to the other side of the RV. However, this is attached. You have your washer and dryer hookup, and then you have your closet door to the bedroom. So I'm not 100% sure if this is just designed to put clothes in so you can wash it, or it's just an easy pass-through for like the ventilation or what it's for exactly but but you have access going in out and then you can also enter it through the inside so tell me what you think about that it's just different i like the fact that something this size has a washer and dryer hookup and you really have access to it at all at you know two major corners so if you needed to do something you'd be able to get to it pretty easily so it's pretty cool i, I kind of dig the idea of being able to get through it through here especially if somebody's passing something through like let's say you are living in this and you're putting up Christmas lights and somebody's trying to pass you Christmas lights through here, then it would be perfectly capable. So there, there's ways to look at it in multiple ways. I like it. It's just a different concept for sure. And then coming down, you have JBL all the way around. So your speakers are all JBL and your stereo head unit is also JBL. This one has solar panels. Uh, the LED lights like I was talking about, JBL, and then of course this is a Forest River product, a Catalina. Uh, enclosed underbelly is basically what that's saying. And this one already has the Wi-Fi router included. 
So you just need to hook up with whichever service provider you prefer. So right here you have your catalyte hookup, your cable satellite. And then down here you do have your plug-in if you decide to hook up a TV outside. You have a, a leash link, which is pretty awesome. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure this is six gallon. I did not check. I usually do check. Yes, this is a six gallon hot water heater. That's good enough. And then right here, you have your little bitty beer fridge, which I like. I love these. I think this is perfect. If you have a couple kids, if a couple adults, you could easily be out here and keep your drinks cold. They can be running around because usually I take out, you know, thermoses or something that's supposed to keep your, uh, your drinks cold uh, with the kids and stuff like that. So this would actually make life a little bit easier. Just leave this open. And then when the kids are thirsty, instead of grabbing them hot water or whatever that's been sitting outside, especially in Texas or any of these Southern states, it can be kept cold in this refrigerator out here. They can be running around and then just run over here, grab their drink and then go back. So, and then you can actually give them a little bit of a selection. So just, just thoughts. And then you have a slide out there. They're locked right here and I only have one hand, but it pulls out the grill. So, however you can hook up directly, there should be a hookup underneath here somewhere. It's probably pointing at the back. Yeah, there it is right there. So, and then coming all the way around to the back. So the other thing that I do need to point out, so these racks, they call them tailgate storage systems. You can see the name right there by Lippert. It comes on all of these. So the interesting idea is that they went with a power receptacle on the back. So you have to lay this down. But if you're carrying something, then who really cares? It's basically already down anyways. And it really takes like two seconds to put down. So it's, it's not hard, it's not heavy, it's super easy. And then on the very top, you do have your rear view camera pre-wire. And then you have your fresh water connection. All LED tail lights, all LED, uh, day, the daytime running lights and the security lights, however you want to call them. This one is a double slide on this side two fairly decent sized windows on your large slide. And then I do like this. You have all of your drains right here. It looks like you have two gray and one black. Now without getting down on the ground because it's still wet because it's been raining and icing and sleeting. Uh, it could be a V off or a Y off or it could be just on its independent hookup so not really sure how that would work oh uh, one goes to the okay so this one right here would go to your sink in the kitchen in the back this one would go to your ba uh, bathroom where it's got or vice versa one of the two so that's how it would work and even if I got underneath it's a sealed underbelly I wouldn't even be able to tell uh, you have another hookup for satellite and cable then you have your city water connection, your black fl uh, tank flush, and then you have your outdoor shower right there. Oh, and one thing I did not notice because it kind of blends in with the logo, which is nice, is you have your shower head uh, holder right there, already pre-done. Because a lot of RVs, you just either wrap it back up and leave it right there, or you lay it on the ground and be during your shower. Coming down, your other slide. Again, a pretty unique, and I've seen this on other ones, this is under your bed. So if you remember this, when we go inside, I'll show you under the bed and you can remember that this is right there. Um, but it's just different, unique. I kind of like the design, the idea of it, because if you need to get something longer underneath here, you'd probably keep golf clubs down here out of the way and you'd be able to pull them directly out. So there are some huge benefits to having a design like this. And then you have one more storage compartment. And this is just a traditional storage. It's boxed out in uh, wood, but it's it's nothing unique about it. It's just a, a good storage. All right, so we covered the outside. Let's go inside and see what we got to take a look at. All right, so we do have the Lippard solid steps. It's three steps plus the one to get inside. 
So let's go ahead and go in. So first thing you have is your control panel. So you have all your tanks. So this one does look like it has two gray tanks, one black tank and a fresh tank. All your lights are right here, your water pump, water heater. And then you have your awnings and your slides all right here. And you can connect it to Bluetooth and control your whole RV from your phone. So that's super cool. All right. We'll start in the main area. So main thing, like I've said before, they do, they've chosen not to put TVs in here. Uh, not necessarily to save money because TVs have gotten so cheap. But for that reason, because TVs have gotten so cheap. Because you can now go out and get whichever TV you want for you know, a couple hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars that's going to fit in this spot and it can be a perfectly smart TV. And then you have different operating systems. So like I have a Roku TV at home and then you can have a Google TV or a Samsung TV or you can have all these different types of TVs and some people like operating systems other than what, you know, whatever comes with the RV one. So this eliminates that frustration or annoyance of having to install a different TV and you know, then you got one that's just filling up space. So they decided not to go with the TV, but they did include a Wi-Fi router. You just have to set it up with your provider you prefer. You have all your satellite hookups, HDMI, and then of course your power plug right there. You can either mount it or just uh, put it right here, depending on your circumstances, of course. We have our fireplace. I don't know why I'm not running that. And then of course, like I said, everything is JBL, including your top speakers. You can see the JBL logo there. And then your head unit is also JBL. And then of course you have storage right here, storage down below and storage on the side. Now I love this. These are movable. You can put them wherever you want. So if it were me on a hot day I'd probably put it in the middle because I wouldn't worry about the vent in the middle and I would just line up and watch TV and just relax these are awesome the recliners and then behind where I'm at you have a couch that does turn into a bed that can sleep too right next to that you have your table and chairs or however you want to call it your booth set up and of course this will turn into uh, two sleepers and you do have storage underneath or you can get through it through the top and so that's a fairly large slide. That's, that's the, I wouldn't say it's a super slide, but it's a large slide. You have storage on both, on each, on this side of, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You have storage on the side of this uh, refrigerator. And then you do have a power plug underneath the storage. You have your refrigerator. Again, it's a general electric, just like your air conditioning in here. Those are the two main things that they're focusing on with General Electric. I, I don't doubt that they won't change other things like your, uh, like your microwave, which is a high point. And I believe this is a gray stone uh, stove and uh, oven setup. So, which I love the gray stone. I love the design. I love the idea. I like the push button screen. And I love the safety features of knowing if it's on or off. Those are the things I love. Plus the light on the bottom is very, very visible. So you can see what you're doing while you're cooking. So, you know, I, I do like the Greystone. And I do like the Insignia brand as well. The Insignia, Insignia is awesome. You've seen those in, I want to say Durango's and some of the Shasta's. So, uh, but this is a 12 volt fridge. Stays really, really cold. Super cold. It hasn't even been plugged in, but of course it's been cold here, so that doesn't really count a whole lot. And then of course you have storage all the way across on the top. And then you do have a little bit of storage down below on this side only. And then underneath this, you have a farm style sink. It is plastic. And then you have your polished aluminum look uh, faucet and it does detach. And then you have a sprayer and everything all a part of it storage on the sides of the counter and then one thing i've noticed on this which i'm really happy about 
I get really close in, and this is not just this one. This it's like all of them, USB-C on the very top. So with changing times, I'm glad to see that they're finally changing these. So you have a USB-A plug. So if you know mom, grandma doesn't have the latest phone, it will still work. Uh, your phone will still work, and her phone will still work on that. Plus, you have a plug-in right here as well. All right. Just taking a quick look around. Again, there's that big window. We could always open that up. And then, of course, you have the two big windows on this side. And again, we could just open that up as well. Coming down the hallway, we have our bathroom. You have a fairly decent sized shower. Shower head's laying down, goes up on the top. It's all white with a door. Obviously, that closes. You have your mirror and medicine cabinet, my favorite feature of the bathroom for one, some weird reason. And then you can kind of see my space. Now the only space issue that I have right now sitting down, I am wide. I'm a very wide person is my shoulder is touching this, this pretty easily. Um, but besides that, it's, it's perfectly fine. Plenty of leg room. Let's see if I can get a picture of that. Plenty of leg room. I can spread out. The only issue is this wall on my left hand side. And then, of course, you have storage on the side. Super long. So, all right, let's go to the let's go to the most important room, of course, the bedroom. And then there's your thermostat right there. And then you have another GE air conditioning right here. And then, of course, I got my fireplace. And then you have storage and once again no tv pick out your tv a tv this size it's probably about 150 bucks you could even go with a monitor that has tv functionality and spend a little bit more to get a little bit better quality you could get a 4k for like 400 dollars, and it fit in there perfect and it could function just like a regular tv so there are i would probably put a monitor a large monitor right there i think that would be really cool so here's the closet. Oh, well, I didn't finish over here. So you have storage up right here. I have a feeling they want you to put some type of speakers or something right here. Maybe the boxes to run the TV. And then below is just storage. And then here's that unique closet that I was talking about. Open it up. You can see the outside right there because I haven't latched it down. And then you do have a little bit of storage up top. And then right here you have all your hookups for your washer and dryer and everything so oh this is cool they tell you exactly where you need to send, uh, vent your, uh, your uh, dryer hook up so you're, it's not a lot of guessing on it and then right here you do have your actual closet fairly large closet I kind of like it of course this is probably his because it's smaller than that size side and then, of course, you have two shelves and then a bottom part, which is gigantic. That's your uh, solar charge controller that I just saw because it was blinking at me. And then, of course, you have your bed. Right now, it's a queen bed. I think you could fit it out with a king, um, but that's, of course, up to you. I'm a very much a queen bed person myself. You have little places to put stuff like your phones. Now, again... This is where I really noticed it because they're lit up. You can see the green light is once again on the very bottom over here. I mean, some of them, they have them flipped up the other direction. Like I think on the other side of the bed, the top is a USB-C, the bottom is a USB-A. So still really cool to see this USB-C. Not all cars even have that yet. So RVs are usually not ahead of the game that, that well. So, and then of course, lifting up, there's your outside again. And there's the stuff that was underneath. So obviously you can change the mattress. You can put a much better mattress. You can do whatever you decide would work best for you. And it looks like you have room that you could actually extend the box out and actually put a king size in here. But again, that's completely up to you. Uh, you decide. All right, well that pretty much covers everything. Uh, stick around if you want to know all the specs, the lengths, the weights, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll go over that right now. But, but guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see my future videos, subscribe and bell notification. 
indigestion is a bitch. But if there's anything else that you have questions about, comment down in the uh, down below. My contact information is in the description. And like I said, if you need anything, let me know. Until next time. Peace. All right, let's go over the specs on this RV. So we're going to start with the dimensions. The length of this RV is 36.92 feet. The width is 8 feet. The height is 11.25 feet. And the interior height is 6.75 feet. The weight, the dry weight as it sits as I did the video, is 8,042 pounds. The payload capacity is 1,958 pounds. And the combined weight with the payload capacity and the dry weight gives you your GVWR, which gives you a cool even 10,000 pounds and a hitch weight of 1,086 six pounds so this one has one freshwater holding tank 44 gallons it says one gray water tank which it could without me going under there and looking at 70 gallons which seems awfully large but i'm not going to argue with the manufacturer and then the black water holding tank is 30 gallons you have two propane tanks they're 20 pounds each making a total of 40 pounds and the awning length is 21 foot so that's a fairly large awning again you can sleep six four in the living area and then two in the master bedroom the air conditioning is 13,500 BTUs and the heater is 35,000 BTUs and the hot water tank is six gallons so that pretty much covers mostly everything if you have any other questions don't hesitate to ask and again uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification and until next time 